Hey guys, so today I'm just kind of bored. It's really crappy outside and it's like borderline about to snow, so that's not cool. Um, just bored. I haven't done anything. I've baked all day, so uh, I thought I'd just film a video. Um, don't really know what I'm gonna do. Um, yeah, I have no idea. Uh, so we'll just play it by ear, I guess. Do something fall, because it is fall, and it's that time of year. And let me know if you guys want to do, um, or want me to do any Halloween videos, and what you would like to see in those videos. Because uh, I've got some ideas up here, but don't really know if they'd be worth filming for you. Um... If you want, you can go comment. I have a couple Halloween pictures on my Instagram. I'll leave that below in the description bar. And you guys can go comment on there what you would like to see. Okay, sorry about that. So, um, I had to go get my charger. My computer is about to die. So, as I was saying, just leave comments below. You can either leave comments below on this video or on like my Instagram or my Twitter or whatever. All the links are below. Um, but let's just get right into it. I've already done my foundation, my under eye concealer. Ignore this. Won't go away. Um, I've done my eyebrows. And now let's move on to the eyeballs. So, I don't know what to do. Um... I'm just priming my eyelids with um, the benefits they don't stray in the lightest shade I'm pretty sure yeah light medium they only have two shades they have a light medium and I think it's like medium dark or I don't know but I like this because it does it is tinted and it does conceal my my under eyes and I'm sorry if you guys can hear the wind against my window it's real windy outside so ignore that as much as possible now just taking my naked basics as usual and oh, where'd it go my E40 Sigma brush and naked too and just sweep that in the crease this is a step I do for absolutely every makeup look I do whether it's using color or not color just because it helps blend everything out in the end and remember before blending is key to every makeup look so I just kind of go back and forth this is not precise very sloppy just kind of getting it where you want it. and I'll zoom you guys in quick Okay, then I'm going to take the highlight shades, these two, Walk of Shame and Venus, my go-to highlight shades for everything, now that we have that on, I think I'm going to use this it's like a gazillion shadows in here but I really like this shade right here so I think I'm going to do something with that on my lid and for that I'm just going to take my finger because I feel like these colors apply better oh, so pretty with my finger oh yeah baby and this palette was probably oh careful the fallout here people probably ten dollars I think and some of the shadows in here are really pigmented as you can see and some are a little harder but overall this is a very good Alright, 
Now we take a blending brush. We'll blend out those harsh lines. My brother's singing in the shower. I'm very, <laughs> very sorry for that. Oh boy. Okay, now that that's blended out, I'm gonna wipe that off on my robe. And now I'm just going to take... Okay, so I just took like a little shimmery gold champagne color and put it in the middle of my eyelid. And now I'm taking more of that color on just a little brush and packing it on the outer and inner corners. I'm just kind of blending it. Out. But also you guys can comment below on just any makeup looks you'd want to see doesn't specifically have to be Halloween because I have like I said a ton of makeup ideas but I just don't know what you guys want to see so just let it girl no okay now to deepen that outer corner the color below is just a really like a purpley we're gonna take that one Tap off the extra. And we're just placing it right now. We're not doing anything fancy, just dabbing it. We'll bring a little into the inner corner, not much. And then Isn't. Just taking a coppery kind of shade just to bring out that middle color again. Because we have purple on the outer and inner. I'm just going to pack it on heavy now. I'm just kind of let it chill. And I just wiped off this little brush. And I'm just going to blend those. Blend it out with this little brush. And in between blending, I'm wiping off the brush as well. 
And it looks sloppy now. Yes, we all know. But it will. And then with the pencil side of the brush, I'm just this double-ended brush, taking that copper color, running it right in the middle again. And with colors, especially like reds and coppers, you want to make sure that you're making them really pigmented otherwise your eyes just it just emphasizes the red in your eyes and just makes you look tired now we're taking that red again the first color we put down just kind of blending that all out starting it in the outer and inner corner and then just blending it together and then taking the purple I'm going back in on the top to that copper color, not the red, just the copper color. I have eye buggy. And then blending. And so it's just a dimension that we're just adding back and forth. I'm going to put a little black on the outer corner. Just to deepen it a little bit more. Then going with the purple just to help blend out the black. Okay, and then that, I put a, this gold color on, in the middle of the first time, so I'm just going to take that on just the same brush, doesn't really matter, and put that in my inner corner. And make sure you blend the two colors together, otherwise it just does not look good and I'm going back in with my E40 and just blending those colors out again and that is done so here's the eyes without eyeliner and stuff. So we'll go ahead and tight line. Ugh, I need a new eyeliner so badly. Mm -hmm. 
So now that we've tight lined, I'm going to go in with my, oh, here it is. Just my NYC eyeliner. Actually, I'm gonna do this off camera once again. Okay, so I just applied lashes, my liner, mascara, blush and bronzer. You ignore that, but my battery is really about to die. I just did my um, NYX nude liner for my lips, filled them in, and then used the NYX butter gla gloss and eclair. And this is the finished look. It's not the best, but I thought it was fun. The camera's really not picking up the color that well, but I love it. Um, it's just copper in the middle, purples on the outside, cranberry colors, something for fall. Um, hopefully I'll get another video up here pretty soon. I know I've been kind of slacking in my videos. Um, and that is all. So I hope you guys enjoy the look and see you next time. Bye.